Hello there guys, so this is just gonna be a video I saved up um, for a later upload maybe so it's probably gonna be an old video just, I'm just gonna drive out of here right now in uh, Scans Tool Come on, sometimes when the door doesn't close you can take down the windows and then it closes because it's a pressure building up, you know so how do you drive out of here? Well, it's easy now, I can just turn straight away. But if I were closer to that wall, my back end would probably sweep out and hit it. So this is a um, like 2016 or 17 year model Volvo FM 410. 20 mount pilot truck, very long with uh, boogie axle, steerable. Now I finished this delivery, I'm just gonna go back to the terminal in Jordbro. So we're here in Stockholm, in Skanstool, like southeast of Stockholm. Oh, what is going on there? What the hell? Anyways, we're gonna take a right here, I think. That's the better way. I like that way more. But it can be pretty chaotic up here if it's a lot of traffic. It's pretty nice, you see? It's not so bad. Let's see if we can squeeze our way in here. Alright, so this, if you remember, this was when the video called Trying to get out of Stockholm City, I think it was called. And I spent like half an hour from that garage to going out here and driving up on the bridge. And now it's just gonna take five minutes, if even that. And also, I remember there was uh, some people fighting over here in that video, if you haven't seen it. It's called Trying to Get Out of Stockholm City. You can just search YouTube, Driving Bro, Trying to Get Out of Stockholm City. Now I'm gonna watch out for the back end here. And not to block up the intersection, because you can see there's traffic over here. Oh shit, my back end's sweeping out. Okay, now the people are walking, I'm gonna go forward a bit more. Now there's buses coming and everything, let's make him pass. It's pretty stupid, those lights should turn green so these can move when we get green, you know, they should have calculated that somehow. Now it's green at least. Okay, parking brake, I don't wanna roll back. Drive? Drive? It's green? All oh, right. Now, because we have green, all the pedestrians have green as well over there. So, you see, this is how much we got forwards. I'm seriously thinking about taking the bus lane. I think I actually took that in that video, the other video, taking the bus. I did not just do that. That did not just happen. Holy crap. See, now that motorcycle behind me came up really fast and it was really dangerous. So that's a good example of something you should not do, you guys. That's not allowed. That's illegally driven there. So don't do that, man. I'm not proud of that at all. I should have just waited, but... I was kind of making it easier for everybody, at least. So I guess it wasn't too bad. Beautiful here. I wonder how it would be like to live here in an you know, apartment with nice views and everything. Probably extremely expensive to live in those apartments. I think maybe like uh, $1,000 a month at least it costs in rent. So expensive here. You can get uh, cheaper apartments, like older apartments, and that are a little bit off. But the thing is, nobody wants to sell those apartments. Everybody wants to keep those because they're so cheap, you know. Why is everybody going so slowly? Thank 
you. Play over there seems new. I haven't seen that before. You know, see that digital? It says cats. That's new, man. traffic there is here now a little bit too much at once all of a sudden and I think I can see some sirens over here yeah there's an ambulance in the uh, opposite direction it's having a tough time squeezing through that traffic oh you see that red red light turn on strange like warning me what the hell is that taxi doing? holy crap what's he doing? I don't know if you guys no you, you guys didn't see that but that taxi you probably saw that taxi at first you know pulling up in front of the ambulance but then I checked the rear view mirror and he like stomped on his brakes like blocking the ambulance that's crazy why do you do that? I'm gonna cry now no, I'm, I'm just kidding you guys But it's almost like you were to cry Like if somebody were to block up the ambulance Holy crap, that's like Where is your humanity? <coughs> oh boy My throat It's blowing cold air on me here It's not good when you're sick Not good at all Turn down this fan, it's blowing too hard. Alright. Now, fiddling around with stuff while driving is so bad, man. You're always like maximum one second, like off, to take your eyes off the road if it's safe. Just a little tip. There is a graveyard, a huge graveyard. This is pretty dangerous. I'm gonna release the uh, cruise control because you never know if there's somebody, some jerk like that, is gonna squeeze their way in by the end of the line and break so that we all have to break, you know. But he did good, you did good, bro. You squeezed in fast. If you can't squeeze in, you should continue driving, man. Cool truck man, that's interesting lights on that thing. So here is um, Hagdal uh, over there, Skarpnik, Tyrosa Road. And soon we're going to go by Farsta. And then we have Trongsund, Vega, and then Jodbro. Oh, 
Oh, well, um... Maybe I should stop recording now. Let's check out these features here, by the way. This... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no copyright issues here, please. Galaxy Tab Active has been connected. Wow, well, that's interesting. So, it recognized the Surf tablet. That's really cool, you guys. It just kind of recognized it somehow. I wonder how. But anyway, here you can switch between the displays. And then you can go exit. Yeah, Bluetooth. Maybe it's the phone then. Where is it? Or the t tablet. No, it's not. Audio settings here you can go and you can set speed dependent volume you guys so if any of you wondering why the volume Like goes up when you're gassing like if you're increasing the speed then it's the speed dependent volume I'm gonna set that to medium So I don't think the guy driving this truck originally knows about that even He's probably annoyed by that feature And then we have auto loudness On okay Background sound Strange, really interesting different kind of settings in this Volvo stereo here And here you can set the treble and the bass and everything Go back again and again and you'll get to the main menu and here we have phone The connected device Galaxy Tab Active does not support this function. Yeah, it doesn't. It's true. It doesn't We have Dynafleet. That's like something you know, like if you're connected you can configure the truck here um, I guess it says no communication between the truck and office office is established otherwise you can use this Volvo Dyna fleet thing uh, but we just use the surf, surf pad instead for the communications and stuff although as I said the vehicle vehicle is not working you see I have to log in it's not working stupid vehicle and um, we have cameras Check out this auto settings. What is that? Auto rear. Auto rear. Oh, that's when you start reversing. Somebody has turned that off. That's really bad. Auto rear activated. That's great. So when you start reversing, it turns on the camera automatically. One. Why would somebody disable that, man? So it turns on camera one. I think I put it to. But we do have camera two here as well it's like this one like when you're connecting but it's a bit weird it should be like directly over i think instead and then we have alarm you can set alarms like if you're sleeping in the truck but uh duh, how would you sleep in this truck so we got main menu settings here as well. We can set the brightness here. Here's the brightness, but it's only yeah, it's only for that display though. The brightness for only that display. Bluetooth devices. Yeah, there's the Galaxy Tab. Somebody has connected the uh, Galaxy S8. You can see you can you can connect uh, very many different phones at once and then you can just select your phone once you're in the truck that's really nice and then you can play your music I think I hope I don't know uh, I, I know from the Scanias you can't play your music um, you can only make calls which freaking sucks I don't know why it's like that maybe there is some sort of trick that you can disable that and play music but I haven't figured it out I hope it's not the same with this Volvos, maybe I'm gonna try it out sometime. So let's go to the camera, or actually when, you, when you're when you in here really what you do is you just press here on camera, it's a lot easier. And we select camera 1, okay, there we go. And now we can switch back to this display here and we can go and press down on this. And here you have all the load indicator if you want to see the current load. We're now weighing 14 tons uh, and we don't have any load so the truck itself it weighs 13 tons about 13 tons um, we 
without fuel and without the electric uh, electric truck or forklift in the back. The forklift, I actually checked, it weighs it weighs 700 kilos, you guys. The forklift, if you were wondering. Hmm, actually, I think we're gonna I'm, I think I'm gonna upload this video now. Anyways, I said I'm gonna save it for later, but I think we're gonna upload it soon, really soon. Uh, right now it's 26th of September. Oh, look at all this traffic. I think I should have turned off here, maybe. Oh, well, I guess I'll just lean back the seat and relax. And enjoy the traffic. No, just kidding. But, you know... Just take it easy, basically. Maybe I'll call the company and tell them I am soon to be there. And I have no load. My truck is empty. So what should I do when I get back so they can start planning for me?